Hey everybody, it's Thomas Shirley here with Throne Builders and I uh, wanted to continue my series on the revolution that we are in, that the body of Christ is in right now. And today I want to talk to you about a revolution of leadership. Anytime that one regime passes on and another regime comes on the scene, there is a replacement. In fact, the revolution is, is uh, so crucial because it actually is the very catalyst that brings in the next wave of leadership and often in often replaces the former level of leadership. Let me explain what I mean by that. If God finds himself in the midst of an assembly or a business or a family, and he's speaking into that situation regardless of what the, the platform is, and the leadership is following him. Uh, let's take church because you know, throne builders is a Christian thing. Uh, let's take church and let's, let's use that as an example. Let's say the Holy Spirit is trying to move in a church and the church leadership, the pastors, elders, deacons, bishops, whatever, uh, the Spirit of God begins to move and their response to what he is doing is, that's not God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't do that. We can't have that. We can't go that direction. We can't, we can't, we can't then that puts God in a position where as much as he desires for his will to be done, he, he must continue to advance his kingdom. That was the promise that the kingdom of heaven would fill the earth as the waters that cover the sea. So in his work to continue to advance his agenda, which always goes beyond where previous generations have gone, you know, so many people say we need to get back to the book of Acts. No, we don't. The book of Acts was meant to be a, a little tiny uh, primer book about what God could actually do. I mean, it's amazing we read that stuff. Uh, but the truth of the matter is there are more people raised from the dead globally now, probably in a couple of months than there are in the entire 40 some year history of the book of Acts. The book of Acts there's a, a long uh, uh, exposition or expose of the things that were being done during that time. But the Spirit of God begins to move and He wants to take us further, take us beyond where we've ever been able to go, wherever the body's ever been able to go before. When leadership says no, because He has to advance His agenda, He has to keep things moving, He will often remove His uh, not his presence. He never abandons people. He never leaves people. He's always with us and always for us, regardless of how messed up we get and how far off the track we get, because he's our dad and he's just really, really great like that. But he will remove his blessing from the system that is in place. And oftentimes the leadership will be oblivious to that because the system is so used to moving in a certain way that they just kind of, they're, they're in the rote. They keep going with it. You see that in denominations. Uh, the Methodist denomination is a fantastic example of an apostolic movement. The Spirit of God moved and John Wesley and Charles Wesley and George Whitfield and a handful of other leaders uh, were very prone, were very sensitive and willing to obey what the Spirit of God was saying to their generation at that time. So because of their sensitivity to uh, the movement of the Holy Spirit, God was, an, was empowered to move through them to literally capture the entire nation of England and large portions of the United States of America. But in their passing, as they passed off the scene uh, and the next generation came on the scene, they wanted to keep things like uh, Whitfield and Wesley had set in place, but the Spirit of God wanted to move beyond that and take them past where they had been before. Because certain people were determined to hold on to that system, they weren't able to go forward, and so that system continued to develop into what it is today with all of its myriad of offshoots, uh, but God raised up a new group. Something called the New Connection was formed and a very powerful apostolic movement. Same thing happened with that. Later on, the Salvation Army was birthed uh, through, through the uh, leadership coming out of that. And so God always is moving and repositioning and one set of leaders goes off the scene and another set of leaders is raised up. And it's just like with Saul and David. Saul was in the seat of authority and power as king of Israel and God wanted to raise up this next leader, uh, David, but they came on the scene at the same time and there was a gradual fading away of the one and the bringing into power of the other. There is a revolution of leadership underway right now. In 2016, God gave me a word for the body of Christ and said in 2018, you will see old leadership patterns 
pass off the scene and, and I'm going to raise up new people. I must admit that I did not even think about it until I was meditating about doing this teaching that one of the first and most well-known leaders in the history of America just passed away, Dr. Billy Graham. I have nothing but respect for Billy Graham. I don't have to agree with everything he said or did, but it's very clear that God's favor was on him. He was a powerful man. He's passed off the scene. You'll see in 2018 in particular, some key uh, people, key leaders, well-known people that everyone's like, oh, that guy, that lady, they got it. They're going to pass off the scene and you're going to see this, this John the Baptist type of a group coming out of the wilderness. And uh, I believe that I'm a part of that, that uh, group. I believe that there is a, a group now that God's raising up that aren't bound to all the traditions handed down to us, not caught by all the Christianese and church lingo, and not determined to have their own way, but are willing to let God be God and move the way they want to move. You some of you are leaders that are being raised up by God right now. And in the past, you tried to step out like Moses. You tried to step out prematurely and put your mark on the, on the situation so that you could lead the people. But it wasn't quite time yet because the situation, the stage was not set for your appearing. But the Spirit of God declares to you today that in this revolution of leadership, He is awakening you and this is your time to begin to prepare yourself to move forward. You need to get things in order, brothers and sisters. You need to put things down where they need to be and you need to pick things up where they need to be brought up and you need to get prepared because there's going to be a changing of the guards very soon for many of us. And as that happens and the old leadership goes off, and there's no condemnation in that, by the way. We don't get to sit and jump and say, yeah, I knew that group was like that. Bless them and go and let them go and you come into your position and be wise in coming into the position. And remember when you're, when you're the one that's in that big spot, remember that it can be taken away and given to another because God wants leadership that's just going to keep shifting and, and moving in the direction he wants to move. And he wants you to develop systems that will be always available for his leadership to, to rearrange the way that things are going. So there is a revolution of leadership. And I trust that you are awakening to your calling and your purpose. If you have any questions about it, or you'd like someone to pray with you or talk with you, maybe give you some instruction and wisdom in this season, feel free to visit thronebuilders.org and schedule a phone call with us. <clears throat> Everything we do is free of charge. And uh, we ask, of course, for donations for our time. But if you're looking for some help, so you're like, man, I've got this calling on my life and I tried 11 years ago and it didn't work out, get in touch with us and let us bless you and help you along the way uh, as you go forward. Uh, but may, uh, whether you do that or not, I hope that you'll take the time to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave your comments below. If you have questions that you'd like answered, I'd be glad to uh, interact with you in that way. And make sure that you partner with our new Patreon partnership. And God will bless you as he's blessing us as a partner and a team. And God bless you so much. Thank you for watching this video.